All right, let's get that tail of the tape <laughs> real quick before we get into this 12-pound final. On the Blue Marlin side, we have Bob Bellinson from Port St. Lucie, Florida. A vertical spinner with a UHMW billet frame. Very cool. Uh, Mark Liu from San Diego, California brings questionable choices. Another vertical spinner. And it's mostly magnesium, but here we go. We're about to get to the countdown for the final fight of the night. The energy in here is palpable. Fight, robots fight. And we're off. Both bots tentative coming out, and a Ooh. big hit by questionable choices. Is that going to be the story here? Can Blue Mar Marlin come back and win the ground game? Nice shot there from Blue Marlin, able to get an angle on those, and gets the better of that hit. Into the short corner behind Fluffy, ripping into the back panel on questionable choices, and now questionable choices has got to bend forwards, and they're kind of up in the air. Wow, Blue Marlin really coming back here strong after that first engagement didn't go their way. Double pin here with the, the smaller wedge bot behind Blue Marlin. Is Blue Marlin having drive issues? Looks like it, yeah, Looks that right side seems to be struggling. Seeing a little bit of crab walking from both bots here. It's been a long day, it's been a war of attrition, and these are two heavy hitters doing damage to themselves every single time they make an impact. We saw in uh, Blue Marlin's last fight, they were pretty good with the crab walking. Will they be able to use that skill here to, to come up and, and get some more hits on questionable choices? Or will the second smaller wedge robot on questionable choices come in handy here? We're seeing in a high center. And that's, uh, this can count for, uh, for control for the judges and allow Questionable Choice's larger Kinetic Energy Bot to come in. Ooh. Oh, and the drive, is it back? Releasing the pin. Nah, still crab walking, still struggling. This could come down to just one more hit, really setting the tone for the judges. Yeah, this is that anxiety inducing. <laughs> How will the crab walking bots make contact and what will that look like? You don't want to run away. You don't want to look like you're not being aggressive, but you want to be careful because you don't want to shove your, your wheel right into the opponent's weapon. No. Questionable choices, the lower of the two robots overall is getting high centered on the rougher floor here. Blue Marlin does seem stuck at the moment, and now also getting a pin. There we go, able to shake themselves loose. But they yeah. do seem to keep getting stuck on that left side. Yeah, as the day goes on, that floor is going to get rougher and rougher, and it's going to be hard for these low robots. And once you lose half the drive, again, it's, it's going to make it even tougher. Oh, this is, this is tense. You can hear the weapons spinning up to full speed, trying to get any advantage they can in this crab walking game. 30 seconds left in this matchup, in this final. Will anyone get a hit? Please. If not, <laughs> the judges are just going to have to go off that opening salvo. It's going to be hard. Ugh. Blue Marlin's maneuverability seems to be getting lower and lower as the fight goes on. Yeah. Does we, seem like they're not going to get counted out at this point, yeah. but... We're going to see both of them make it to the end, but now even Questionable Choice's uh, smaller wedge robot is not very maneuverable and is upside down. Will that play into the judge's decision? Oof. All right, right. so oh. the first 45 seconds or so is going to determine Ooh. the entirety of the 12-pound finals today. So yeah. I would imagine this one's going to trigger a functionality test for the judges. I sure hope so. Yeah, I would definitely think you're going to see a, a function test here. Can they both spin up? Uh, how much maneuverability does either one have? The, the smaller wedge robot losing full maneuverability at the end when it got flipped could really factor into such a close fight here. You know, we saw uh, Blue Marlin take the, the worst of that first hit, but come back strong. Uh, but after they got that sort of pin in, in the short corner behind the house spot, both robots were unable to recover. All right, so here we go. All right, folks. Questionable choices. Your winner. And 12-pound champion, questionable choices. Fantastic. Wow. wow, that's a tight one. This is why I don't do predictions. <laughs> See? See? 
So I think the first exchange, I got a really good uh, under his wedge, so I got a really good hit, and then he started to catch me. So he got behind me and hit me, and that's actually what took out one of the gearboxes. That's why I lost drive after that exchange. Now, you had a fully functional weapon, but both bots were limping. Do you think that having that operational weapon is what gave you the advantage in the judge's decision? Oh, 100%. The uh, weapon working was definitely a big leg up, and as well as the minibot and the driving of the minibot. I am so happy to hand this to you, Mark. Congratulations. Here is your golden dumpster. You are the new bot.